Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a past, present, and future reading for the sign of Taurus. These messages will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. So I'm going to jump right into it and see what messages Spirit has. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So I pulled two overall messages. The first message is gratitude. Be grateful for all you have. And then the next message is signs and reminders. So I feel that Spirit is saying to be grateful. Do not develop a spirit of lack. Be grateful in any season that you are in, whether you are in a drought or any season of abundance. Be grateful. Spirit says you shall overcome. So some of you may be going through some type of difficulty and Spirit is saying that you shall overcome. Just continue to be grateful. Continue to cherish the things, the blessings that you do have in your life. Spirit says I have not forgotten about you. Pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities. I have not forgotten about you. I am with you. Behold, I am with you. You are never alone. I am walking right beside you in this season. Just continue to have a positive perspective. I heard spiritual animals, dogs, birds, cats, horses, fish. This may be a spiritual animal or these may be some spiritual animals for some of you. And this is how spirit communicates with you. This is how spirit lets you know that you are not alone. That spirit and God is right there beside you. Spirit says for some of you, every time you see a fish, that is spirit letting you know that I am with you. So just continue to have a positive perspective. Continue to have an attitude of gratitude and you are going to be able to call in the things that you want for your life. So let's look at your past. So the first message that I have is walking away. The next message is goddess of the moon in the reverse. And then I have the garden and the gate. So I feel that some of you may have gotten into a situation where you did not think it through clearly. You did not listen to your intuition. I heard a relationship. So for some of you, this is a relationship. I heard a job. So for others of you, this may be a job. Spirit says it's like a very small percentage of you where this is about a job. But you definitely jump head first without thinking things through clearly. And... Because of that, you ended up leaving this job or you ended up walking away from this relationship because you found out that it truly wasn't for you. I feel that with the garden and the gate, you were hesitant about taking this offer. But it's like you overrode your intuition and you went forward with it anyway and you ended up being disappointed. Because you felt that this was going to be a new beginning, a new start for you. So let's get some more messages. Tell me about walking away. Okay, the Eight of Swords. So yes, you were definitely stuck in your head going back and forth about this situation. You were not able to really think clearly. You were really stuck in your thoughts. And I feel that was your intuition because this wasn't for you. This wasn't the path that you were supposed to take. But like I said, you overrode your intuition and did it anyway and ended up leaving. You ended up walking away from this situation, from this relationship, from this job, whatever this is for you. So let's get a message for goddess of the moon in the reverse.
Okay, so I have the Five of Swords and I have the Three of Pentacles. So I feel that you felt this situation was going to be something that was going to make you happy, where you were going to be truly supported, where there was going to be a very healthy collaboration. But like I said, it did not work out the way that you expected it to. And you ended up in the Five of Swords energy, very conflicted, overthinking, really regretting the choices that you made. So let's get a message for the garden and the gates. Yes, the seven of swords, someone was being sneaky and hiding something from you. Someone was not being completely honest. And I have the moon, it was revealed to you. And that is why you chose to walk away. You found out that someone was hiding something. Was being very deceitful, being dishonest. And once it was revealed to you, you chose to leave the situation. So let's see what's in your present. I have broken heart in the reverse. I have storm warning in the reverse. And I have happy family in the reverse. So you did not get your wish fulfillment when it comes to the situation, when it comes to this connection. You are definitely healing. I feel that the difficult season has passed and you are now in calmer waters. You have went through the storm and now you are just kind of coasting and continuing your healing process. It's like, yes, you was disappointed because you did not have the happy ending that you were expecting, but you are choosing to move forward. So let's get a message for a broken heart in the reverse. Okay, so I have the King of Cups and I have the Emperor. Yes, you are healing or you have healed and now you are completely balanced in your emotions. You are the Emperor, so you are like focused on your stability, really being in your power, making moves, making things happen in your life. And you are very confident in your choices, your decisions. It's like I heard you know who you are. Like you understand more about who you are and what you want out of life. That is what this situation has taught you. So let's get a message for Storm Morning in the reverse. All right, so I have the two of wands, I have the king of pentacles, and then I have the empress. So yes, I feel like some of you are definitely focused on creating something new for yourself. I heard a project, so you may be working on a creative project. I heard business may be focusing on starting your own business, but whatever this is for you, you are definitely working on your pentacles, really establishing financial stability, financial abundance. And it's like you are doing a lot of reflecting, just looking out at all of the opportunities, the options that are available to you and you are in a season of manifesting and creating more opportunities for yourself that is going to lead you to be the king of pinnacles very stable as you become older and really setting a nice nest egg for yourself where you don't really have to worry about your finances so let's get a message for happy family in the reverse
Okay, so I have the hangman. Yes, you are completely open. I feel like you are open when it comes to your intuition. You are open when it comes to spiritual guidance, really gaining a lot of knowledge, a lot of information about what you want when it comes to a relationship so that you don't repeat the same mistakes. You really are focused on making different choices and you are really letting spirit guide you onto a new path that is going to be different for you where you will see different outcomes in your life. You will see more positive outcomes for yourself. You want change. Spirit says you want change. Therefore, you are willing to change so that you can have the change that you want for your life. So that you can see the change in your life. Therefore, that's why you are open. Because you want to have a different experience when it comes to romance. You want to have a healthy and solid connection, relationship that can build and grow into something more. Marriage, children. Something that is truly going to make you feel complete. Help you reach your Ten of Cups wish fulfillment. So let's see what's in your future. So I have community. I have the Temple Path. I have Angel of Love. And I have third chakra archangel samuel so i heard marriage so yes in the future you will be meeting your divine counterparts and you will be getting married you will be open to giving and receiving love being very confident in the decisions and choices that you are making when it comes to relationships and really finding finding your divine counterpart somewhere someone you can build and grow with Someone who wants the same things that you want, equal give and take, a very balanced connection. Because you have done the work. You have changed. You have decided to really work on the areas that you need to, to release, let go, so that you can be balanced in your emotions. Working on your financial stability. Really putting energy and effort into your goals. Things that you want to achieve for yourself. Being open to divine guidance. You did work on yourself in every aspect of your life so that you can prepare yourself for this new beginning and it's coming in you are getting your wish fulfillment so let's get a message for community yes you are getting your wish fulfillment you have done the work and spirit is getting ready to bless you with a divine connection, a life partner, someone you can spend the rest of your life with. just end the video on this alone i have the two of pentacles yes i feel that you are balancing things out in your life or you will be balancing things out in your life you will be able to juggle your priorities when it comes to your career when it comes to your relationship i have the magician you have manifested this new connection you have called this in the two of cups, like I said, life partner, divine counterpart, your soulmate. You have called in your soulmate. You will be connecting with someone who is your soulmate, your divine counterpart. You will have a divine connection. I heard spiritual for some of you. This is going to be a very spiritual connection. You are truly going to be equally yoked. You are going to be one. You have manifested this. You have done the work. You have believed. I heard energy. You are in a very healthy and positive energy. That is why you were able to call this in. 
I have the six of swords. Yes, I feel that you are walking away, leaving people behind who do not serve you. Although you may be disappointed, you know that this is needed. You know that you have to walk away from things so that you can embrace this new beginning, so that you can have your wish fulfillment. You know that it is time to let go. For some of you, I heard fear, letting go of fear, fear of rejection, fear of hurt. You are leaving that behind in order to embrace this gift that spirit is giving you. And then I have the Six of Pentacles. Like I said, equal give and take. This is going to truly be a very healthy and balanced connection. You have done the work. Spirit says it is all for you. This is yours. You have done the work. And Spirit has blessed you for all of the effort and energy that you have put into yourself. Spirit is pouring into you or will be pouring into you. You will be at your Ace of Cups, completely emotionally fulfilled and happy. You're 10. Everything is going to balance out. It's like things are just going to continue to get better and better. You are in your season of blessing. There's a gospel song that says, this is your season to be blessed. Yes, this is your season to be blessed. And blessed you will be. So I'm going to pull one more message. And let's see what spirit has for you. I have surrender. I can release my need to control. Yes, I feel that you surrendered. You released control and you allow for spirit to take over and guide you. And that is why you are seeing the results that you have right now. That is why you are seeing things work out for you. That is why you are seeing things turn in your favor. Because you have surrendered. You have released. You are open to guidance. You are open to change. That is why you are going to be able to call in this connection. Because you have changed. You have let go. Six of Swords. You are walking away from what no longer serves you. You are releasing. And that is why Spirit is gifting you with the connection of a lifetime. So I hope that this message resonated. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone, stay blessed.